What is up everyone out there? My name is Rudy and welcome to Astroneer. Today we are going to be building an underground hydrazine manufactory. Why are we building such a crazy contraption? Why? So we can build all the hydrazine we need and trade it away for whatever else we want. Because as with all gold rushes on earth, the people who made all the money were the ones supplying the supplies. Pickaxes, shovels, that sort of thing. We're going to do the exact same thing here. We're going to supply all of the hydrazine for all the other astroneers out there who are rushing to the planets and it's going to be great. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find a good site to build our manufactory. It's going to be underground so maybe we could just build it straight into the side of a mountain. Yes, like the dwarves of old. We can build our... yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to build it into the side of a mountain. And the main reason we want to build it underground is, I mean, call me paranoid, but I don't want any aliens coming around and bombing my manufactory. And also, it'll just make it more difficult, more fun. I think this is a good site. We got our vehicle here providing us with oxygen. I have some compounds, so I can build some tethers if I need them. I think I'll need some tethers because we're probably going to go in pretty far. Beautiful. And this beacon, I don't think we need a beacon. And you know what? I think I'm going to put this uh, solar panel on the back of my car as well. That way, because uh, I'm going to be underground, and I want this machine to provide me with all the energy I need, assuming the wind is blowing or the sun is out. Okay, let's build. I never built an underground cavern base, so let's see how this goes. The, the idea is we're going to manufacture all of our hydrazine underground in a massive cavern. We're going to bring our truck in, load up on hydrazine, and then we can bring it to a trade facility to trade for coal and other things that we need. Let's see, we can use our flattening tool Yes, we can use our flattening tool to make it, to make these smooth walls. This is pretty nice. Tippy, the tripod. Which one? I forget which one is my friend. I mean, only one of these tripods talks to me. All the others remain silent for some reason. I don't know. I don't get it. Anywho, uh, I'm not crazy. I'm just, I've been on this planet by myself for probably, I don't know how long. 30, 40, 50 days? Hey, look what we found. I love it, some malachite. I was hoping we would uncover some resources while excavating our tunnel. You know what? I'm gonna put these tripods on the ceiling. Can I put them? I can put them on the ceiling so they can act like overhead lamps. And you know what? We need to smooth out the ceiling because this is gonna be a Oh my God, I almost crushed myself. Hey, resin. Resin is good. I'm gonna go back to my base and actually get my truck. All right, we're back. I've got my truck. I've loaded up with a generator, plenty of organic materials and other supplies that I might need so I can work long into the night. But of course the sun is shining right now, so my solar power will do me good. Oh, we're bursting into a cave. I knew this would happen. As the dwarves know, when you're digging in tunnels like this, you might disturb something deep, deep beneath, like what's down there. There's something deadly and down there in the deeps. Of course, there's the whole curvature of the planet thing. When I'm smoothing out, it doesn't follow the curvature of the world. So it's gonna make for a very angled floor, but that's probably fine. I'm out of power? What? Fantastic, fantastic. That's how you pronounce that word. This is not a, gonna be a good manufactory if we can't get straight floors because all the hydrazine canisters are gonna roll away. And you can't, if the hydrazine canisters roll away, we can't sell them on the market and we can't drink them or do anything with them. We can't put them in our ships. In my, oh my God, I just completely screwed it up. What the hell? How the heck did I do that? Okay, we're, we're good, we're good, we're safe. These floors, you can eat off these floors, they're so smooth. If, I mean, they're not clean, but they're smooth like a dinner plate. Whoa, the wind is blowing my truck. Now we have this cave here. Maybe some nice friendly cave creatures will come investigate what we got going on. And probably nothing bad should happen. Let's just smooth it out. I'm sure there'll be no creatures around here that will try and, you know, attack us for intruding upon their natural habitat or anything like that. I like this little arch thing that I got going on here, this little curvy thing. 
My friends, now that we have hollowed out our cavernous core, our next step is to bring in a habitat, and then we can begin constructing our hydrazine manufactories, our hydrazine, our fuel synthesizers. We'll also need batteries and generators. So let's get that going. We are constructing our habitat. Let's transport it to the caverns. All right, hopefully that doesn't turn out in, into a disaster. Let us hope that is not being a disaster since we are dragging our habitat along the ground like that. We're also going to need more uh, resin, but I saw some resin. There's the habitat. Habitat's doing fine. It's a durable piece of machinery. It's designed to last the rough and tumbles of the world. There's a bunch of resin right here that I can use. Get out! Let's grab our habitat. Transport very carefully. Oh man, could I put this thing on the roof? That would be that would be crazy if it was on the roof. Let's not put it on the roof. Let us not put it on the ceiling. Okay, let's put it right here in the corner and activate habitat. Dun dun dun! Ah, that's very nice. All right, this is extremely, this is making me very unhappy. What What is this doing? And now there's no way we can go back to the way it was. Wait, this might work. Okay, this is, this is going to be good. We need more resin though. So much resin, wow. And now we can Yes, I am very I'm very happy now. Our fuel condenser. Okay, we got we'll have one fuel condenser at least, and we need to expand this one. Two fuel condensers. I think we want a third fuel condenser. I was hoping to maybe fit four fuel condensers down here, but maybe only three will work. Great. And now we can proceed our truck train, our valuable supplies. We don't have any insurance here in space, so we need to take good care of our space equipment. And being that we have no insurance, we are always sure to be extra careful. Now let's bring the truck right down in here. Honey, I'm home! Okay, we got... Let's place our batteries. Let's see, one battery can go there. Another battery can go... Ooh, up there. Nice. And let's take our generator. We have no coal yet, but we will eventually. We can put the generator... Where does the generator go? Let's put the generator there for easy access. We have a storage, so we can put our hydrazine once we are done manufacturing it. Our first batch of hydrazine. Who wants the first drink? It's filling up the pink, beautiful pink liquid. Oh, our pow we need more power. More hydrazine, and the power is being directed to the other fuel condenser as well. Nobody said hydrazine manufacturing was easy. It's honest work. You know, I'm not trying to be lazy. I'm just trying to position myself to have a competitive market advantage. Okay, we almost have a full set of hydrazine. Once we have eight hydrazine, we can go get some coal. And then once we have coal, we can get our big generator operating. I'm not sure how long coal lasts, but coal better last for like, I don't know, a hundred years, better fill up all my hydrazine producers, and better fill up my batteries. Otherwise, I will say coal is stupid. All right, look at that. Honest day's work. Let's take our hydrazine to market. We can get one coal for eight hydrazine. There goes my, my work, my hard work, off into space for some sucker 
to buy my hydrazine for their one coal. They're just huddling around like, I need hydrazine, but I only have this coal. What do I do? Wait, there's somebody selling hydrazine? You bet. Ooh, our first coal. All right, let's fire her up with our our carbon, our delicious carbon coal. Look at it go. It's so fast. It's so much faster than the other generator. I'm so happy. Yes, and it's going to fill up my batteries and my other condenser. Well, my friends, I am sorry to say that we've used up all of our coal, but we've only managed to make four hydrazine canisters, so there is no way we're going to be able to make this operation fully underground. We need some solar power. I mean, it's a partially underground manufacturer. It'll be shielded from many of the elements, and it will be good. Alas, YouTube, we have done it. We have provided solar power to our underground manufactory. We got our solar power charging up our machines. Yeah, we're going to need more solar panels. Okay, we've got our solar panels, our batteries, we got everything we need. Who designed these connectors? I'm going to write a letter filing a formal complaint that my solar panel keeps falling off the front of my truck. Don't fall off, stay put, solar panel. We shan't be stopping again. Stay. Good. So we got a wind turbine. I will take those. Thank you. We've got a solar panel. And the storms are coming. Let us get inside. Oh my god, are we gonna survive? Get to the truck! Oh my god, that could have been me! Get this truck inside. Energy farm is working great. We got three solar panels. The wind, I don't know if the wind ever blows. I guess it blows sometime. And we got batteries inside to give us the power we need at night when we're trying to make hydrazine at the wee hours, at the witching hour and all that. And we got batteries. Did I mention the batteries? We got batteries. We got these big lithium batteries big batteries for big power I could build more batteries and put them there and I could put a battery up there put a battery over there that's what we're gonna have to do but we got the facility the basic facility is now working now we can bring all of this hydrazine to market look at all of that hydrazine this stuff isn't explosive is it you know, it's a type of rocket fuel that you need to react it under special conditions for it to explode. It just doesn't, you know, it just doesn't explode, right? Right? As I cart this thing across the landscape at who knows what speed and bouncing it all around. Whoa! My hydrazine! Alright, let's bring it to the trade post. We got the trade post. Let us get this hydrazine into space. And let us, let's see what we can get for our hydrazine. Okay, we could get eight compound, eight resin, eight organic, four hydrazine. Well, I'm not going to take that deal. You must think I'm some kind of sucker if I'm going to take that deal. Four laterite, very nice. Four malachite, two aluminum, two copper, one lithium, hey. One coal, and one titanium. So we can get all kinds of great stuff. And that is how you trade. That is how you make money in the space frontier. Thank you so much for watching. 
subscribe for more great Astroneer videos, and let me know in the comments what type of crazy things you have built, or you want to build, or maybe you want to see me build them. Good luck with your explorations and astroneering.